Hello dear students, welcome to the Excel in Current Affairs session on Exigence Educator. Today we will cover the best 200 current affairs of October part 3. And if you want to attempt free quiz, free current affairs as well as English quiz, you can download the app from Google Play Store and take the free quiz. Fine. So let's start today's session. So this is today's first question. CRPF collaborated with DRDO, JATC and which IIT to augment its R&D capabilities that is research and development capabilities. And what is the full form of JATC? It is Joint Advanced, I am writing in short, Joint Advanced Technology Technology Center, Joint Advanced Technology Center. Fine. So, CRPF collaborated with DRDO, JATC, and IIT Delhi to augment its research and development capabilities. Have you understood? Now, next one. So, what will be the benefits? This initiative actually aims at the capacity building to make optimal usage of police technologies fine and it also will uh, what to say it will also help in integrating uh, drdo labs for realistic indi indigenization of technologies on the internal security grid fine so these are the main benefits or advantages of this initiative and of course you must know that crpf Director General, who is the Director General of CRPF? His name is AP Maheshwari. So, you must also know these facts because SBI Clark Mains is knocking at the door, right? And CRPF headquarters, of course, New Delhi. Fine. So, these type of questions can also be asked in SBI Clark Mains. Fine static facts related to the current affairs fine next so this is the detailed news right this is the benefit right these are the benefits as i mentioned moments back fine you can just go through this the pdf will be available on the telegram channel so this is the telegram channel exigence educator you can just type it you will find it fine so the entire pdf will be available and i have taken this from the news newspaper fine so you can just go through it for your extra knowledge right next which country hosted seventh meeting of ministers of justice of sco that is shanghai corporation organization member states virtually so which country actually hosted it it is none other than india right so india hosted it fine seventh meeting of ministers of justice of SEO, right? Next, who participated in the 102nd meeting of the World Bank Development Committee plenary through video conferencing from New Delhi? So, who has participated through video conferencing and participated in the 102nd meeting? This is a keyword, please note it down. 102nd meeting, right, of the World Bank Development Committee plenary, fine. So, the person is none other than Nirmala Sitaraman. Fine. Option B will be my answer. Next. India collaborated with which country in the e-health sector to provide digital health facilities and security to Indians and help that country to accelerate the digital transformation of health. So, which country is it? E-health sector? It is Netherlands. Right? Netherlands. Next, Tata Motors partnered with which bank for financing of passenger vehicles? So, Tata Motors has partnered with a particular bank for financing passenger vehicles. So, which bank is it? It is HDFC Bank. Fine. So, I have added the picture for your reference. So, picture will be available in the PDF also. So, it will be helpful for you to remember the facts. Right. Rajkiran Rai G has been elected the chairman of IBA, succeeding Rajnish Kumar. 
who has been elected the deputy chairman who has been elected the deputy chairman so who is it who is it who is the deputy chairman of indian banks association it is dinesh kumar khara fine dinesh kumar khara so we came to know about two facts rajkiran rai is now the chairman of iba and he succeeded rajnish kumar fine this can also be asked and deputy chairman is dinesh kumar khara so next one who released the book on the trails of buddha a journey to the east authored by dipankar so who has released this book it is the governor of west bengal jagdeep dhankar governor of west bengal fine next international day for eradication of poverty 2020 is observed on international day for eradication of poverty 2020 is observed on so which date is it it is october 17th international day for the eradication of poverty fine you can see in the picture also next kati bihu festival is celebrated in which state so this type of questions are very very important for for sba clerk mains right or ips clerk mains because you get 50 questions in ga section isn't it 50 questions in ga section out of the 50 questions you will definitely get banking related current affairs banking ga at least 5 to 9 so the range this is the range right and as for static static gk a hell lot of static gk is asked 5 to 10 fine the rest will be current affairs the remaining portion will be directly from current affairs related news or static news related to the current affairs fine and this static refers to just like that uh, national park thermal power plant ports right so kati bihu festival is celebrated in you must be knowing it right assam quite easy this was quite easy next which country became the world's first country to attach facial verification in the national identification database known as sing pass face verification kya hoga iska answer naam mein hi answer chupa hai aapka kya hoga even if they don't give this in bracket right i have added it the name so it will be singapore fine singapore is the world's first country to attach facial verification in national identification database right next which company launched mu pay a first of its kind fully automated direct payment platform for dairy farmers in rajasthan so which company has launched it it is it is stale apps and this can also be asked stale apps has launched a first of its kind automated direct payment platform for dairy farmers in rajasthan right fine so the name may be asked what is the name of the uh, first of its kind payment platform the name will be mu pay right because uh, what is the sound made by cows in english it is m w right fine so you can easily remember it mu pay right because uh, sounds you must be knowing right ducks quack the sound made by ducks quack right cow is moo fine dogs bark right so the answer will be moo pay and it was launched by iit madras all right iit madras it was launched by iit madras that is why i have added the picture also right next Anders Antonsen defeated whom to win the men's single title in Denmark Open 2020 so he has won it 
and he has defeated whom right that is the runner up mm. so the answer will be option a rasmus game ke, all right and as for women's singles title nozomi okuhara see i have added added the extra information nozomi okuhara defeated carolina morin she hails from spain and nozomi okuhara hails from japan right to clinch women's singles title in denmark open fine so singles women single men single these are important right doubles are generally not asked in the exams but singles are very important for the exam right from the exam point of view who launched safe city project a women's safety campaign in lucknow up safe city project kisne launch kiya hai so it is anandi ben patel right it has been launched in lucknow up next which bank signed mou with mahindra and mahindra for tractor finance business mahindra and mahindra for tractor finance business so what will be my answer my answer will be bank of baroda right ye picture dekhne ke baad aapko zarur yaad rahega bank of baroda's bob's new initiatives to improve tractor financing right next the first multimodal logistic park of india will be developed in which state the first multimodal logistic park of india will be developed in which state so it is none other than assam see it is also visible in the picture country's first multimodal logistic park in assam fine next which country will have a separate water attache in india from january 2021 which will share the farmers that is the country that will be my answer that is the former right latter refers to india here latter means the next in position right so which will share the farmers best technologies for advancements in india's water management and agriculture sectors so my answer will be israel right israel and what is the currency of israel what is the currency of israel the currency of israel is israeli new shekel right shekel is the currency of israel right is the currency of israel fine and what is the uh, capital of course jerusalem चलिए नेक्स्ट वन देखते हैं क्या है इसके बाद विच कंपनी हैज बीन सिलेक्टेड बाय नासा टू बिल्ड द फर्स्ट एवर 4G सेलुलर नेटवर्क्स ऑन द मून सो विच कंपनी हैज बीन सिलेक्टेड बाय नासा क्या करने वाले हैं 4G सेलुलर नेटवर्क चांद पे राइट right, चांद पे कंस्ट्रक्ट uh, करने वाले हैं सो so, कौन से कंपनी को सिलेक्ट किया गया है नासा के द्वारा आंसर होगा आपका नोकिया फाइन पिक्चर याद रहेगा ना पिक्चर जरूर याद रखना पिक्चर से ही आपको बहुत सारे चीज फैक्ट्स दिमाग में बैठ जाता है दैट्स वाई आई हैव एडेड द पिक्चर राइट नेक्स्ट व्हाट इज द रैंक ऑफ इंडिया इन द फोर्टी फोर्थ इंटरनेशनल माइग्रेशन आउटलुक ट्वेंटी द रैंक ऑफ इंडिया इज second and china has topped the list in the 44th international migration outlook right china is at the top india is at second position next bombay stock exchange has signed memorandum of understanding with which indian state to support msmes to raise equity funds so which state is it it is telangana right it is telangana the ninth session of india women joint commission meeting was held virtually which was co-chaired by whom co-chaired by hardeep singh puri hardeep singh puri which company planned to introduce 2 million co-branded next generation credit cards very very important question 
next generation credit cards the answer will be paytm paytm sebi securities and exchange board of india has constituted a market data advisory committee that is madc that will be headed by whom so who will head this committee it is madhavi puri right next niti ayog and which company has launched first of its kind frontier technologies cloud innovation center that is cic so my answer will be niti ayog and amazon web services they have launched this frontier technologies cloud innovation center right first of its kind next which company is all set to launch a blockchain platform in 2021 to facilitate investment in bonds by individuals another important question from the exam point of view blockchain platform in 2021 so the name is bond e value bond e value next portraits of power half a century of being at ringside is the autobiography of whom is the autobiography of whom the answer will be nand kishor singh nk singh right portraits of power half a century of being at ringside nand kishor singh nk singh what was the theme of the third edition of world statistics day which was observed on october 20th 2020 october 20th 2020 what will be my answer what will be my answer the answer will be connecting the world with data we can trust connecting the world with data we can trust see the picture it is also available in the picture <clears throat> fine next International Chefs Day is annually celebrated on October 20th. What is the theme for 2020? International Chefs Day. Answer will be healthy food for the future. Healthy food for the future. Which state has launched the electricity consumer service portal Mo Vidyut and mobile application? Whenever you see the word Mo, it means my. Fine. मतलब मेरा All right. So Mo Vidyut and schemes starting with Mo are from Odisha. Just like Jaganna or YSR related schemes are from Andhra Pradesh, Mo schemes starting with Mo are from Odisha. Fine. This is the best way to remember. Which mobile app launched by Leather Sector Skill Council for enhanced quality assurance? So what will be my answer? My answer will be Scale India. Scale India. Right. Scale India. Next. Which bank has collaborated with IIT Madras Incubation Cell to launch an exclusive credit facility of up to 50 crore for startups namely IND Springboard. So this is quite confusing for some people. They will generally confuse between these two options right in the sind bank and indian bank so what will be my answer my answer will be indian bank fine in spring board don't confuse it okay that is why i have given confusing options right don't confuse it next who will participate in the celebration of 50th independence day of bangladesh it will be observed on 26th march 2021 who will participate in it it is none other than pm narendra modi right narendra modi will participate in the 50th independence day of bangladesh which city in india has the longest bus rapid transit system brts network so which city is it it is surat surat has the longest brts network what is brts bus rapid transit system in order to drive financial inclusion to issue salary cards to its customers across india 
Zenpay Solutions partnered with YAP and which bank? And which bank? Which bank is it? My answer will be RBL Bank. RBL Bank. Zenpay Solutions, YAP and RBL Bank. Next. Name the bank that has won Central Bank of the Year Award 2020. Central Bank of the Year Award 2020. So, Bank of China is the Central Bank of China. Bank of Malaysia is the Central Bank of Malaysia. RBI is our Central Bank, that is the Central Bank of India. And Bank of Ghana is the Central Bank of Ghana. So, my answer will be Option D, Bank of Ghana. Bank of Ghana wins 2020 Central Bank of the Year Award. Next, name the first Indian woman to win the Wildlife Photographer of the Year 2020. Jabbi. Kisi question mein ye first mention kya rehta hai, to question ka importance bad jata hai. So this question is very important from the exam point of view. First Indian woman to win the Wildlife Photographer of the Year 2020. My answer will be of course option D. Aishwarya Sridhar. Aishwarya Sridhar. Who has laid the foundation stone of Assam Agar International Trade Center, a first of its kind in India? It is none other than the CM of Assam, that is Sarbananda Sonowal, the Chief Minister of Assam, Sarbananda Sonowal. Fine. And who is the governor of Assam? Who is the governor of Assam? Please do write in the comment section. You must be knowing it. Right. Fine. Next. Name the IIT that has developed. COVID app, low cost portable COVID-19 test kit. COVID-19 test, test kit. My answer will be IIT Kharagpur. IIT Kharagpur. Next. Nandankan Zoological Park, which was in the news recently, is in which state? Tell me. Nandan Kanan Zoological Park, which was in the news recently, is in which state? I hope you are able to answer this. Let's see the answer. The answer will be Orissa. Very easy, right? This is quite easy. Now, you have to name a few more national parks of Orissa. Name some national parks of Orissa. They are I am saying, I am mentioning here, still, I would like to see in the comment section. Bhitar Kanika and Sim Lipal. Fine. Sim Lipal and Bhitar Kanika. Right. These are the two important national parks in Odisha and another one is and this one is Zoological Park Nandan Kanan quite important right. Next. This is the detailed news why I have taken this particular news because adopt an animal scheme has been launched in Nandan Kanan Zoological Park right. So this is the details of the adopt an animal scheme. You can just go through it, right? Fine. So, I have just taken it from the news. Adopt an animal scheme, right? The adopter would pay the amount fixed for each species he would like to adopt, right? And animals will not be allowed to be taken home, right? All animals will be uh, in the custody of the zoo and no ownership rights would be conferred. Next. Name the bank that has recently launched a campaign Khushio ki kare zimedari se tayari. Khushio ki kare zimedari se tayari. So, what will be the name of the bank? The bank's name is Yes Bank. Right. Next. Name the state that is planning to implement Bhagya Lakshmi scheme. Very, very important. Name the state that is Planning to implement Bhagya Lakshmi scheme. My answer will be Karnatak. 
my answer will be Karnatak. Right, Karnatak is planning to implement Bhagya Lakshmi scheme. Who represented India at the first ever ministerial meeting G20 anti-corruption working group virtually? So, who represented India? It is none other than Dr. Jitendra Singh. Right. Next, International Snow Leopard Day is annually celebrated across the globe on DASH to create awareness about the conservation and preservation of snow leopards. What will be my answer? My answer will be 23rd October, International Snow Leopard Day 2020. Name the state that has stopped Anemia Mukt Bharat Index released by Union Ministry of Health and Welfare. So, which state has stopped Anemia Mukt Bharat Index? The state's name is Haryana. Haryana has stopped the list. Which bank is set to short its operations in Sri Lanka? So, this is today's news. Right. This is today's news. Fine. Although we are covering from 18th to 24th, I have also taken news from today's Hindu. Okay. The Hindu. So, this was today's news in the Hindu. So, if you have gone through the Hindu, you must be knowing which bank is set to short its operations in Sri Lanka. It is ICICI Bank. Fine, ICICI Bank is shutting down its operations in Sri Lanka. Fine. And everyone must go through the Hindu daily on a daily basis. Fine. Do not go through the entertainment news. Right. No entertainment news, no negative news. Just go through the banking financial news, right? And also go through the editorials. At least one article per day you must read. Fine. Next. So, if you read Hindu, then this answer should come. Fine. Next. Name the district that has backed the top position among 30 districts of the country in successful implementation of Pradhan Mantri Gram Sarak Yojana. Pradhan Mantri Gram Sarak Yojana. Which state, sorry, which district has topped it? The answer is Mandi in Himachal Pradesh. Right. IIT Mandi is also in Himachal Pradesh. So, the answer will be Mandi district of Himachal Pradesh. And among the stops, sorry, among the states, Jammu and Kashmir is at the top. Among the states, Jammu and Kashmir has topped the list in the, in the implementation of Pradhan Mantri Gram Sarak Yojana. Next. And one more thing, this can just be given in the examination, in the, in the implementation of PMGSY. Okay. You have to What is PMGSY? It is Pradhan Mantri Gram Sarak Yojana. Fine. It can be uh, sometimes... Uh, in any other question, it can be PM GKY Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana. Fine. So, please uh, do remember the uh, short forms, right? Abbreviations. Next, of schemes and banking related news, right? Name the person who has been named an outstanding young person of the world 2020 by a non profit NGO. So, who is the person? The person is none other than Jajini Varghis. She is an Indian origin surgeon, right? Next, name the railway zone that has recently launched bags on wheels service. Bags on wheels service. So, which railway zone is it? It is Northern Railways, right? Northern Railway Zone. Who has written the book, The Ultimate Goal? Who has written the book, The Ultimate Goal? The answer will be option B, that is Bikram Sood, right? Next, name the state that has decided to observe COVID-19 no tolerance fortnight from October 26 onwards. So, it will start from October 26, right? So, which state is it? This has been done to, uh, to alleviate the uh, effects of COVID-19 that is alleviate the spread of COVID-19, right? We are trying our best to 
uh, elevate the situation right to cut down on the spread of covid 19 on the to cut down on the numbers numbers of persons affected right so this is also being done for the same reason right to keep a check on the spread of covid 19 so covid 19 no tolerance fortnight is is going to be observed by mizoram state right by mizoram state fine and what is the meaning of fortnight fortnight means 14 days that is two weeks right fortnight refers to two weeks right that is chauda din 14 days next to mark the 75th anniversary of which organization india has released a postage stamp so, to mark the 75th anniversary of which organization? India has released a postage stamp. What will be my answer? My answer will be United Nations. See, this is, this is the stamp. Excuse me. This is the stamp. 75 years of the United Nations, right? Next, in which state was the Joginder War Memorial recently inaugurated? Joginder War Memorial recently inaugurated. Key state may ye inaugurate kiya gaya hai? Bataye. So, my answer will be Arunachal Pradesh. A war memorial has been built at Arunachal Pradesh's Bumla in the honor of Subedar Joginder Singh of the 1st Battalion of the Sikh Regiment, who had been conferred with the highest gallantry honor of Paramvir Chakra. Why? For his role in the Eastern Theater during the 1962 Indo-China War, India-China War of 1962, right? So these were the 50 questions. I hope your score was at least 40 plus. Fine. If your score is 45 plus, then it's very good. And if your score is 40 plus, it's also good right so try to maximize your scores in the upcoming sbi clark mains fine so just as i said static as well as banking related current affairs and banking related static facts can also be asked so be well prepared and keep a cool head right do not get excited right suppose you face a easy question an easy one an easy question you get excited fine you solve it after that you find a hard one a hard question then you will get demotivated so try remaining try to maintain your style all right try remaining calm during the examination fine so dhyan rakhiyega acche se exam dijiyega fine and also Please do revise as much as you can, fine, not many days are left. So I wish you all the best for all your upcoming exams including SBA Clark mains. So let us meet on the next session of Excel in Current Affairs. So timing will be the same, Sunday 7 pm in the evening. So it will be a live session, milte hai next Sunday, next Raivar. Saad Bajay and if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do subscribe. I hope the current affairs revision has been quite useful for you because I believe in audio visual process of learning, right? Pictures as well as facts, pictures and facts, pictures plus facts. It helps you to memorize things. So let us meet on the next session. Till then, good day. Take care. God bless you guys and please stay home, stay safe.